So how hard is it to get an ACOS that's under 20%? There's a few things that go into lowering your ACOS. So in this video, I wanna go through one of my campaigns and give you some insights of what you need to do to lower that ACOS so you're spending less but earning more in book sales. Let's get into it right now. Hello and welcome, my name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. If you want more resources, particularly free ones, there's about 20 of them on my website, which is globalselfpublishing.com and I've also got plenty of blog posts that you can read about that will help you for your self-publishing. Right, so let's get into this now. What I wanna do is to help you with your Amazon ads and to help try and reduce your ACOS or lower your ACOS. Running Amazon ads is almost one of those critical things you do now need to think about when you launch your book. It's part of one of many different strategies that will help you to successfully launch. Some of you might be struggling with your budgets, blowing your budgets out of the water. I even had one subscriber to my newsletter reach out saying that they had spent about $1,500 but have only had a return of about $700 in sales. And the problem is when you're using Amazon ads, it won't show you the profit of your book, just the overall book revenue. So that's where keeping your ACOS low is gonna be so important. So what are the things that you can do to lower your ACOS? Well, what I'll do is show you one of my campaigns, how it's currently tracking. I'll show you the data from lifetime of that campaign and some of the strategies that I've been implementing that have helped uh, reduce that ACOS over time to a point where it's about 17%, which is good. I wanted to get it to around about maybe 12 or 13%. So these strategies I'll continue to implement throughout the lifetime of this book. So in effect, I'm hoping I don't need to spend a lot of money for marketing my book and I try and get the ACOS down to about 10 or 12%. But it is important that you don't just switch off ads, particularly if they're performing quite well. It becomes a long-term strategy for investing into the long-term success of your book. Ideally, it would be nice just to turn off the ads altogether once the book's ranking really well. But you should probably look at your Amazon advertising as a way to continually promote your book and not just allow the uh, algorithm of Amazon to promote it. You need to be doing your own promotion and continue to let customers know about that book and to keep it floating up the top of the search results. Let's jump onto my campaign right now. First, let's look at the date range of the last 30 days for this campaign. Then what we'll do is go to the lifetime of the campaign and how that's tracking and then we'll look at different strategies to lower that ACOS. So currently over the last 30 days the ACOS is at 17.62. My ultimate is to get it to between 10 and 12 percent as I mentioned in the intro of this video. You can see how it jumps around a lot, a bit like a heartbeat and you can see at some point in time ACOS jumps up the 34 and then sales will jump up to $54 and ACOS down to 5.75%. You can see it tracking all the way along here. Impressions at 66, nearly 67,000. And the spend so far has been $87 for a total of nearly $500 in sales. Now the profit margin on this would be approximately $200 $200 maybe. So remember sales is the collective total of your book price multiplied by the number of sales. And if, even if you spend 87, your profit margin with an ACOS of this 17% may only be uh, $150, $200. So that's where you just got to be very careful of that. Now, if your book is priced higher at about $18, then your ACOS could be a little bit higher, but if you've got a book priced at say $6.99 or $7.99, then that ACOS will need to be much, much lower to be recording any sort of profit. Let's look at the range of the year to date. 
This will probably give you a good example of where that's tracking. That's the year to date. And then let's go to the lifetime of this particular book and the spend and the sales. So that is the results over the lifetime. So 23.5% over a million impressions. But remember, when we're first starting off our Amazon advertising, our priority isn't to get the book to be profitable on Amazon ads. It's to get traction and ranking and get into the Amazon algorithm, generate sales, generate reviews. Therefore, we should be, per, I guess, we should be willing to have a higher ACOS and accept a higher ACOS to begin with. So when this book first launched back in August, it had an ACOS of 31%. Then it um, kicked down, or sorry, dropped down to 28%. And you can see over the journey that it does start to lower and lower all the way down. A little bit of a rise there, and it's dropped back down to 17.84% right there. But with that, sales have also been dropping. But that can probably also to be to do with me pulling back some of my spend on my Amazon ads. And I've deliberately done that because as the book gets ranked better, I can start to pull back a little bit on the spend and the cost per keyword. It's important that you continue to advertise though. Let's go back down to the date range of 30 days. And what we want to do is to have a look at some of the keywords and what we need to do to try and reduce that ACOS. And I said earlier on, I want to get to about 12%. So if we go to the actual campaign here and we go to our targeting words, and what this is going to do is show me how these are tracking over here. So if we look at the first keyword, 21 and a half thousand impressions, it's got 81 clicks and it's currently got an ACOS of 10.58. 16 orders as part of that. Currently I've got a bid of 24 cents. Now I initially started at about 40 cents and I've gradually been bringing this down. My aim if it's about 10.5% is to leave the bid as it is. However, if I've got a keyword here that's got 16%, my target being about 12%, I could potentially lower this a little bit, but I'm also conscious that it's getting clicks and it's getting some sales. So I've just got to be careful not to reduce that bid so much that it isn't actually being presented to customers. So let's go a little bit further. And I've got these books right here. Oh, sorry, not books, these keywords, orders, 5, 7.5%, seven, 7 9. What I'm looking for, if we've got clicks of 9 clicks but no orders, what I could potentially do is to freeze this keyword or I might even lower this even more so that it maybe won't show up as much but it's still leaving it there just in case. If it gets to maybe 10 or 11 clicks, I might actually pause that keyword um, by doing that right there. So I keep scrolling down and again, another one here, nine clicks, spend of $2.25, but no orders from that. Again, I can reduce my bid or I can pause the keyword. I'm looking for any of these clicks that is getting up close to 10, but no orders. And what I'm doing is optimizing my keywords. And I expand on this more in my best-selling course on Udemy. I'll leave the description in the below if you want to check that out. This one here, 15%. It's going okay, only one order from seven clicks. Uh, so I could, what I might do is actually increase that a little bit to see if I can get a couple more impressions. And that might lead to another order. So there you can see just what I'm doing to try and optimize my campaign. Now, the other thing you can do is what we call go to our search terms. So we can go to our search terms here, and this is what customers are actually typing in. So you can see the customer search term just up here, and the keywords below that are what customers are actually searching for, but the keywords that are in my campaign are listed in this column right here. Now we can actually click here and we click it twice 
and that will actually filter all those keywords. So you can see the first um, one up here isn't listed as a keyword, but it does have five orders at 13.5%. So what I can do is add this keyword into my uh, campaign, which I'll do right now. And I've now added that in as an exact match because I know that's exactly what customers are searching for. So you can see my keywords here. I've even got a couple 2% here, 5%, 9.5%. They've only got one order though. The main keywords I'm focusing on are these ones right here where I've got three orders and four and five. So I'll continue to manipulate my target bid to optimize that. As I said, I go into more detail in my course on Udemy. So ensure that if you are struggling with your Amazon ads and campaigns, check out that course that'll cover everything in further detail than what I'm covering right now. The key to all this is to ensure you've got a great book. No matter how good your campaigns are, you're never going to be able to optimize those ads or perform well in those ads if your book isn't of high quality. The higher the quality, then the better your ads are going to perform over the long term. And you can see how this book right here, I'm getting the impressions, I'm getting clicks and I'm getting sales, and therefore I'm getting data back to be able to optimize my campaign for this particular book. So that's an insight into one of my campaigns. Remember to always continue to review and optimize your campaigns. Look for those additional keywords that customers might be searching for and ensure that you're keeping within your budget. Most importantly, no book, regardless of how good your Amazon ads are or your keywords, will sell if you don't have a great cover, don't have an enticing description, and don't have a great book with good reviews. All of that in combination will help drive down your ACOS. What ends up happening is people have a bad, maybe, or maybe have a good cover, so customers will click on it, but then the internal manuscript or the reviews aren't great. Therefore, your ACOS will be driven up because customers are clicking on your ad, but they're not liking that book from there on, and therefore that's going to cost you. So there you have it. Remember, if you do want to get more training around Amazon ads, I do have a best-selling course on Udemy about Amazon advertising, and it's very, very affordable. So jump on. I'll leave the link below in the description, and you can check it out from there. So until next time, I look forward to providing more content at that point in time. Goodbye.